वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग गैप ऑफ अराउंड 23 डेज आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश अ न्यू वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल व्हिच इज डिजाइन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ स्टोन कॉलम्स हियर you have been shown a typical sketch of type of loadings applied to stone columns next as regards design and construction of stone columns is concerned stone columns is a ground improvement technique that reinforces the soil with a network of stone compacted columns in either an equilateral triangular pattern which gives the densest packing or a square pattern as indicated on the right hand side of this paragraph The spacing of stone columns depend on the characteristics of untreated ground, soundness of stone columns found, and degree of improvement needed. Here you have been shown two grid grid patterns. First is the triangular grid pattern forming a hexagonal, and second is the square grid pattern. Purpose of stone columns and its added advantages. Stone columns technique is used to increase load bearing capacity of soil. that is to improve bearing capacity of foundations and to reduce in turn the settlements of the foundations produced post construction they accelerate soil consolidation because of resulting increased drainage capacity of the granular material within the columns which act as pore of water pressure evacuation points effectiveness of stone columns stone columns are very effective in improving slope stability embankment construction on soft clays especially and even in preventing liquefaction by increasing shear strength within a liquefaction susceptible soil mass they are quite very useful work for big tank foundations and also sometimes for buildings as well and other important structures to be adopted as ground improvement technique now the design of a stone column foundation system theoretical design of stone columns with regard to yield load or settlement is very complicated due to interaction of several factors a precise mathematical solution is quite difficult for the load carrying capacity and settlement very much depend on the method of construction of stone columns therefore an impression is that a design approach to stone columns is highly empirical which is actually not true it is although true that design of stone columns is less understood but it is as empirical as the design of normal pile foundations principle of stone columns on which these are built upon they these are vertical rigid inclusions made of stone or sand and are installed in a grid pattern into the soft soils beneath the structure stone columns are also known as aggregate piers and do very well suit for the improvement of soft or loose soils as they create vertical inclusions with high stiffness shear strength and draining characteristics therefore stone columns results in an increased bearing capacity accompanied with reduction in total and differential settlements as well now how do you exe execute the stone columns at site the technique uses a vibrating probe which penetrates the soft soils to the necessary depth and then further compact the granular material inserted into them there are a wide wide variety of construction methods dry and wet vibrating probes in the top or bottom of the tool pendulum or mast guided system and methods of for incorporating the granular material namely bottom feed and or you can say top feed that are used in combination of one another to meet the project requirements and specifications that is both these technologies and methods are used for executing the stone columns at the site cases where stone columns are not compatible as a rule stone columns should not be installed to address geo technical issues related to load bearing capacity and settlement in high organic soils lack of lateral confinement and the risk of creep in organic soils do not make them suitable in this very case as a as an effective tool for ground improvement material used in stone columns generally granular backfill material is used which is more of an crushed stone only for formation of quality stone columns the granular fill should be well graded or gap graded angular grains are usually preferred over rounded ones now at the end i would like to tell you all about the reasons of effectiveness of stone columns as ground improvement technique 
नंबर वन द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ स्टोन कॉलम इम्प्रूव ग्राउंड बाई रिड्यूसिंग सॉइल सेटलमेंट वाई एंड हाउ ड्यू टू इट्स हायर मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देन दैट ऑफ सॉइल इट एब्जॉर्व मोर लोड देन द सॉइल देन द पेरीफेरी सॉइल देन द ट्रिब्यूटरी सॉइल एंड रिड्यूस ओवरऑल सेटलमेंट नंबर टू सिंस एप्लाइड लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इन बिटवीन सॉइल एंड स्टोन कॉलम इन द रेशियो ऑफ देयर स्टिफनेस द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ सॉइल ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस नंबर थ्री स्टोन एग्रीगेट्स आर यूज टू फिल स्टोन कॉलम्स वाटर कैन इजिली पास थ्रू दीज स्टोन कॉलम्स दे आर फॉर दीज स्टोन कॉलम्स टू ऑल्सो हेल्प इन एक्सेस फॉर वाटर प्रेशर मिटिगेशन एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ विच इन टर्न एक्सेलरेट द कॉन्सोलेशन प्रोसेस इन द सॉइल मास वेयर एवर दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इज डन एंड दिस कैन बी termed as a very effective tool for mitigating liquefaction potential at any particular liquefaction site so dear friends this was what i wish to tell you in this lecture of mine hope you would have enjoyed it